it's your crazy fangirl shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Happy May 4th. May the 4th be with you. May the force be with you. It's Star Wars Day. I didn't realize that we would be going through emotional pain again. Um, like, so quickly. I literally was like, oh yeah, cool, it's on Friday. No, it's coming out today. <sighs> I literally just got out of my university class, my Zoom class. I literally was like, hurry up, hurry up, otherwise I'm going to lose the light. So I'm going to get into this as quickly as possible because oh, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I literally haven't stopped thinking about Star Wars. Um, yeah, and I've been talking to the guests that I'm having on my podcast um, nonstop. So, and literally one of the guests who was coming on the podcast literally was like, be wary of spoilers because he got spoiled, unfortunately, for himself. And I was like, okay. So I literally have not been on my phone all day. I've been avoiding Twitter and everything that I usually go on in the morning. And yeah, so now we're going to jump in. Oh, okay. Let's get into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video games, TV shows and movies or whatever. Um, so let's get into the final episode ever of Star Wars The Clone Wars, guys. Oh my god! Why are you gonna give me the red- the red logo? Oh god. Guys! Heck yeah! Oh, Rex and Ahsoka teaming up! Heck yeah, be careful! Please, for the love of god, also, I remember that Jesse is here in this episode. Don't let him die. <laughs> oh, Maul! Oh, he's wearing his gauntlet! Oh no. Damn. Oh, damn, he is so powerful! What is he doing? Ahsoka didn't mean this much chaos, mate! Oh, that shot! Oh my god! And the lightning? Oh! Oof. Oh, I love how there's just no music and it's just all the debris breaking. Is that Coruscant? Oh. <laughs> oh, that shot. Oh, the music. Oh my god. Oh, who's that? <gasps> That's Jesse. Oh no! This ship is going down, and those soldiers, my brothers. Are willing to die and take you and me along with them. Wow. Pausing! Jesus. That's such a big thing for Rex to say. Because even I wanted to talk about this in the previous episode, but I was in too much shock. But the fact that he shot his brothers to protect Ahsoka, and now in this moment is like saying, like, we have to abandon, like, every hope of thinking that we can't hurt them because they their mission is to kill us so like and those are his brothers like he said like my brothers you know are willing to die so that we die and i will oh that's just it's so heartbreaking but like it's something that i guess all of us never thought that would leave rex's mouth because he holds his brothers so dear to his heart oh god <laughs> why Oh, 
Oh, that shot! Ew, the cinematography in this. Go to hell, Maul! I hate you! Ooh! Ah! <gasps> oh my god! That was a Easter egg! Wasn't that from the, 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 the deleted scenes? From Revenge of the Sith, where Anakin does the same thing? Go, Ahsoka! Oh no! Rex! Rex, please! Please, I cannot deal with the stress! Oh, thank God. Oh! Heck yes! Heck yeah! Ninja running in the air? Heck yeah! This is what I'm here for! Or oh, more like Jedi running. Oh, that shot! Mmm! Damn, this episode! Damn! Damn. Oh my god. That was like one of the best scenes I've ever seen from Clone Wars. One of the best ever. <sighs> oh damn. Oh Rex. Damn, this show. Oh! It's a storm. Oh. No! Those mother effers did it? <laughs> God damn. <sighs> what a way to end one of the best animated series ever. <laughs> it's such an emotional ride. Oh. I thought this episode would be longer because, you know, it's the finale and I thought, like, you know, they might take us to Coruscant. Not in terms of Ahsoka and Rex, but they might kind of, like, show us what's happening there momentarily in animated style, which would have been cool. But I understand why they didn't do that because, in all honesty, the movies focus on Anakin, Obi-Wan, Padme, etc. But, like, the TV show, and especially this season obviously focuses on Ahsoka because she wasn't in the movies at the time. And yeah, in a way, I'm glad that they didn't, like, go stray away from her storyline because god damn, and especially in this episode. <sighs> Again, and I always say this and people must be sick and tired of me, but silence in this film. Like, in so many moments. Oh. And, oh, that last part. That last part. Beautiful scene, like, animators need to be congratulated more for their fantastic work and how much passion they put behind that. Because that last part, where Ahsoka's, like, in the middle of, like, all, like, the, um, heads of the clones, and she's just in the middle, and then it, like, pans over every single one, and then it goes to Jesse's. 
Dude, I'm so sad Jesse's dead because he's been there from the beginning. Like, yes, Rex and Cody, etc. They've been from the beginning, but god damn, he's like one of the oldest clones. I'm going to talk more about the over like view of the season, um, I guess more in my podcast with my guests, but I think I will open up the conversation now and talk about it. Fantastic season. Amazing. There's again, there are those just those I, and this is what I mean, like those few episodes with the sisters could have been cut down to two episodes and this part of the storyline could have I, like been dragged on for one more episode and I would have gladly had it because these these are the episodes that I love. Like this was what made me want to watch Star Wars The Clone Wars previously like in the first few seasons and even in like season six and stuff like that drove the story for me like oh like what's gonna happen next like what's like you know like that was it but those few episodes in the middle with the sisters like mm, they weren't the best um oh but everything else those first few episodes with echo beautifully done and it just shows the humanity there is within clones and you know and that first episode and i was talking about this again with a few of my friends like you see the difference of how the Jedi treat the clones. And, you know, this is why, like, um, Rex's connection was so powerful with Ahsoka. Because Ahsoka, Anakin, and Obi-Wan treated them like human beings. Like, they weren't weapons of war. Um, and that's just so beautiful. And we see that humanity in episode one. Especially, not episode one, but, like, those first four episodes. And just the relationship between the clones and the Jedi, especially, and we saw this most powerful moment between Rex and, um, Ahsoka in the last episode. (sighs) No. Emotional, emotional. Um, but, again, we see that again in this episode, like, you know, and again, Jesse briefly, briefly put down the gun for a second, and then he went up. Oh, I'm so sad that he died. But, like, I knew, like, if the ship's gonna crash, they're not gonna be able to save him because he has the chip in his head. (sighs) I, yeah, so emotional. And the fact, and this is, again, this is how you end the Clone Wars series. Because I understand what they were trying to do with the previous season, season six, you know, like, leave it open-ended. But it was like, no, like, go further. Like, push it more and... Thankfully, with Disney Plus, they were able to, and thank God they did. What an amazing season it's been. It's been amazing, and I absolutely loved it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the final episode of The Clone Wars. What an emotional ride it has been, guys. Oh, my heart is heavy, but it is full. And I am so grateful for Dave Filoni and also George Lucas, obviously. Um for putting this together because you know we didn't expect it to come back i didn't and i remember when the teaser came out that was like one of my first videos on my channel my reaction to the teaser that was two years ago so the fact that you know we're ending the season properly and being like you know this is a show and this hit me before and it got me emotional i was like no i can't get emotional But I've watched this show since 2008, and I was nine years old when this show came out. And at the time, my cousin introduced me to the movies, the lore of what it was, and, you know, I fell in love with the show. I fell in love with the characters, you know, like, with the movies, I didn't necessarily understand everything, because as a nine-year-old, a lot of things go through your ear and go out through the other very quickly. Um, So, yeah, it was only when I entered, like, my early teenage years that I really understood what it was, and I was like, oh, my God, Star Wars. Um, And, you know, that was my love for Star Wars. And then it was Clone Wars that, you know, because it was animated, and, you know, as kids, that attracts you to it. So I fell in love with it, and it became more than a cartoon show. It was just so... uh, It was so unique, and it is so unique, And to know that it's properly, finally over, just, it's so sad because I've grown up with it for so, so long. And, you know, to be 21 now and to have had this start when I was nine years old, obviously it finished, when did it finish? The sixth season? 2000 and, I can't remember. But, you know, like, it finished a few years ago, but to finish the series properly, like, when I'm 21 years old, it's so crazy and emotional because I've fallen in love with this story for so long and I've had these characters in my life for so long. And obviously to know that the now the puzzle has come to fit together. Now Anakin is 
Darth Vader. I did not expect that at all. Literally, when I said it in the last reaction, I was like, ah, they might put it in. They're not pro I literally thought that they weren't going to put it in. I was like, nah, they're not going to do it. That's too, like, you know, they're not going to do it. <sighs> what? Like, oh my goodness gracious. Like, uh, yeah, I did not expect that at all. And just to see him holding... Oh, and that last shot, again, one more thing before I wrap up, because this is more conversation for the podcast. Last, that last shot where, <laughs> I was going to say Anakin, Darth Vader is walking away and his silhouette is in the visor of the clone helmet. That just spoke volumes. And of the how many years we've watched, you know, these clones, like, you know, be friends and be funny with Anakin... Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, and to have this happen, like, it, it's crazy and it breaks my heart. But it's just, it goes to show, like, how amazing this story is and how emotionally it can tear us apart. But oh, what an amazing ride it has been. I quickly will say one more thing. Quickly, I hope that they do finish more of the other storylines that there is in Clone Wars that they didn't get to finish. Um, and I think that they will. There's definitely, this isn't the end fully of Clone Wars. Like, I think maybe of the whole big series as Clone Wars. But I think they may bring in other episodes. Not to start, like, the Clone Wars. But to perhaps maybe a smaller series and just kind of, like, fill in the gaps that kind of have, like, been there for a while. I think that they might. Especially with Dave Filoni behind it. Like, he's amazing. And he did incredible on this show. And Dave Filoni, please just do all the live action stuff. Like, please, I know you don't want to do the movies, but do all the live action shows, please, because you're an amazing writer and we love you. So please save the Star Wars universe. <laughs> so I'm going to end it here. There's always like a sad moment where I have to end like a series that I'm doing. Um, I did this previously for Shadowhunters and for some other shows, I think. And goddamn, it's really hard to shut this one because like... I don't want it to end. Like, god damn. But anyway, we still have the podcast, guys, so please keep an eye out for that. The filming for that podcast will be this Wednesday, but it'll be out either on the Wednesday or on the Thursday, so keep an eye out on that. And quickly, Outlander people, if you are watching this, that is going to be late. Tomorrow I've got, like, a 2,000 word assignment due, and I'm still working on it, so I literally have to go edit this real quick and then go back to work. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bangle out. <laughs>